What is up guys? So I've got a problem with my uh, PS2 and what's happening is it makes a horrible grinding noise when it reads discs and sometimes it doesn't even read them. It has the laser has trouble or it struggles to um, uh, actually get a game to work. It just doesn't load. So what I did is I did a little um, research online to see how to fix it and all you've got to do is take out the laser, give it a clean and readjust where the laser aligns to, where it moves up and down. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little um, video of how to solve this problem if any of you guys have the similar um, situation with your old fat PS2s that makes a grinding noise and doesn't need discs. So, to save time, I've already took out the screws at the bottom and I've put them here. So you need to take out the little things at the bottom and not too many screws. This popped off, I don't know where that goes. That's a problem. So, PS2 comes off like that after you've taken the screws out. And some models will have a ribbon strip here. Mine does, so I, I need to be careful not to break this because I think that's the ribbon um, for the buttons here. So if that breaks, I won't be able to open or turn on my PS2. And then we have four little screws here. I'll push it forward a bit so you can see screws at the top so I went ahead and unscrewed them they're really small they're smaller than these ones so you might need a, a, um, a much smaller Phillips screwdriver so you pop that off and now you see the disc tray zoom in a bit you've got the disc tray here I need to like um, plug it in break anything and pop this tray out. So is that on now? Switch it on. Pop it out. It's not coming out. There we go. And then turn it off. Put this on the side extra careful not to break the ribbon. Now the laser is uh, exposed. I'm going to unplug this. Just to show you guys up close what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like up close with the laser. So I need to take two screws off here. Um, this is where I think this white plastic bit comes is uh, too loose so that's why it makes a, a grinding noise when it tries to read the discs it's typically like oh, it's okay now because I'm pressing it in but um, yeah you can kind of hear it so I need to pop this out uh, push this white bit down a bit so it touches this um, it. this little metal bit here and take this black plastic off to clean the laser so that's what I'm gonna do be extra careful uh, when you take out the laser because there is a ribbon I don't know if any of you can see There is like a ribbon where it connects to the laser, so you need to be careful when you take that out. So pop your screw somewhere where you want to use them, and then okay, it's out now. So flip the laser upside down. As you can see, there's the ribbon, and there. It there's little clips where you need to pull down. You have to be 
be extra careful. The little like black clips, pull that one down and pull that one down and then the ribbon should just slide off pretty easy. Probably best if I use like um, a flat head instead of using my fingers just to loosen it up a bit. Right, the ribbon's off, just to show you up close. That's the little thing that you need to pop off. This is the laser. So, yeah, this is worn out, this plastic bit, which makes the grinding noise. That's worn out and needs to be pushed down a bit. And this laser, needs to be cleaned as you can see there we go but I need to take this plastic this black plastic bit off so I can clean the outside of it and then see if I can get uh, the bottom of it because there is uh, two lasers underneath that well there is one laser on top and then one um, underneath it, which both need cleaning. Right, so that should solve the problem with read and discs or read disc error once I clean that. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is tighten this bit or make sure this goes down, this plastic bit. Make sure you don't like snap it. So after you have done that, bending this down if you have the grinding problem, you can then go ahead and pop this off somehow, I'm trying to figure out the best way to pop it off oh, without breaking it, I almost broke it then. There's that, that bit off. I was a bit too hard on it and it almost snapped. So you've got to be extra careful, more careful than what I just did. See there, it almost snapped. But I guess it isn't the end of the world if this breaks. Your laser will still work. Right, so I've got my rubbing alcohol or isopropyl rubbing alcohol 70%. Um, to clean the laser so this has become pretty useful now that I got it because previously I fixed my Mega Drive controllers and this should fix the um, laser problems read disc error and some q-tips right so you wouldn't need too much really because the laser is very tiny it in there a little bit and make sure it's not dripping and then just go ahead and clean the lens and this should prolong the life of your laser so once that's done you need to get underneath the laser because there is another one. So very carefully lift this up. And it's very delicate because there are oops, just drop that. There are um kind of like strings, I don't know what it is. You can't really see, but well, you can kind of see on the camera. But you don't want to break anything. So now that's under there, I want to just give it a little twist to clean underneath exactly what I'm doing here. So that should have done it. Give it a blow because um, using Q-tips like this, the uh, 
cotton or whatever starts to come off and you don't want any of that on the laser. So there you go, we now have a clean laser and this has been pushed down to ensure that it doesn't make a horrible noise when it tries to read the disc. So all I've got to do now is put it back in. Just test the net to see how loud it is when it moves. And it doesn't seem as loud as before. It makes no sound when it goes up. A slight sort of clicky sound when it goes down. I think it shouldn't make a noise now. The disc should read. Now that everything's put back together and plugged in, um, I'm going to test this game out. Soul Calibur 3. This is the game that didn't work. I mean, it worked after 10 tries, but even then, uh, the music would have skipped. The loadings would take forever to load, and it made that horrible noise on the disk drive. So let's go ahead and test this out to see if this has worked now. And the funny thing is, like the disc is absolutely fine. There really isn't any scratches. I think there's just too much data on this disc, which is why my uh, laser had difficulties reading it. So far so good. At this point, the disc uh, or the thing would go crazy. The little mechanism, the laser, would just be like making so much noise right now. And it loads up fine, I think. No memory card, okay, whatever. Skip this. Let's get straight to a uh, game. Can't skip this. Oops, I think I went on story mode. Seems to be working fine. Start battle and it loads up pretty quick. Oh so yeah, another successful fix. 
So if any of you guys have the same problem, I hope this helps you. And uh, this is, I mean, this is only a fix for the fat PS2. And this is the very, I think this is model one. Because uh, I had got this on launch. So anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I'll put up another video soon.